Hi everyone. I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you for all of the really sweet birthday wishes that people left in comments on my last tutorial. Um, they really made my day and I just really appreciate you guys taking the time to do that. I also want to say thank you to all of my subscribers for helping me to reach partnership on YouTube. I really never expected my channel to be this successful, uh, more successful than my blog at this point, and I'm just really, really flattered uh, that you guys like my tutorials. So I hope you guys like the water marble I have for you today, and stay tuned. Hi guys. So today we're going to be working on this black, white, and pink marble. And you'll notice that my nails are quite a bit shorter than my last tutorial. I actually did a pretty big trim about a week ago. And so for those of you who've asked if marbling can be done on short nails, you'll see that it can be. Um, as always, I'm working in a cup of room temperature filtered water. And the pink that I'm using is Wet n Wild Lust. And the black and white that I'm using are both Sally Hansen just going to get one more drop of the lust in here and then this black is blackout and the white is white on so now that I've got those in there I'm just going to take my orange stick and draw the center dot down to the bottom and to create the pattern today I'm just going to do a crisscross pattern uh, just using a light touch and crossing back and forth uh, creating kind of a rippled pattern so there you can see if you cross back and forth more you'll get more uh, kind of petals I've got my finger prepped with one coat of lust as well as some scotch tape to keep my finger clean and I'm just gonna take aim and dip my finger in so with my orange stick just reach in and clean up that extra skin of polish on the top as best as possible and once the surface is all clean just go ahead and slowly draw the finger out and there you can see the water marble if you'd like to see some more pictures of this one you can check out my blog mysimplelittlepleasures.blogspot.com and since this is a challenge entry for Polish Hoarder Disorders um, Grayscale Challenge, I'm also going to include a link to her challenge gallery in the information box. So check that out if you'd like to see some other really cool manicures. I hope you guys all enjoyed this one, and thanks for watching.